What's going on everybody? So let's talk some three gun today. Today we're gonna to talk a, a little bit about some three gun. And we're just gonna jump it off with going right into it. This is my belt. I started a little getting into three gun last year and got a little serious, I guess. Cause before I was just running a regular belt with a Serpa holster and mag carriers. I was using a, a dump pouch for my shells. I know, I know. Real amateur. But I went out there, used what I had. And this year, I am definitely made an upgrade and got a little more serious. Went with the Blade Tech belt system. Now attached to it, all this is Blade Tech. This is from my M&P core. I like it a little lower, so. And it's very loose. It's it's loosened up. We're gonna start with the front here. I have Safari Land 4 Shell Caddy. Very great. I may look into the whole quad and do system, but I'm still starting off, so we're not gonna, I guess, jump the gun here. Here is a Sphinx magazine holster. This probably will be coming off seeing that I just added this new setup. Holds two AR mags and three pistol mags. So this probably will be taking a back burner to this. Probably add some more shotgun shell caddies here. But that's the overall belt. It fits great, it's lovely. Um, yeah, this is the belt. Of course, in the belt, I will be carrying my M&P. I guess I'll drop it for you guys. Sorry, I'm using one hand. I'm recording this off my phone, so bear with me here. As you can see, empty. So, M&P core. Yes. In the video, in the picture that you see in front of this video, it may show I have a RMR on here. I had a little accident. So the picture, of course, is an old picture. But yeah, I had a little accident. I had to send it back. Waiting on my new one to come in. May do some stippling work to this pretty soon here. Slide cuts, possibly. New barrel. You'll see an upgrade video on this firearm here shortly. You can bet money on that one. We're gonna go over here to the shotgun. This is one of the shotguns that I started with last year, Maverick 88. Don't judge me. Since then I've upgraded actually to a Mossberg 930. Front bead side, it holds 10 plus one. I added a shotgun shell caddy at first. I may keep it on here, I may not. It all depends what goes on here. Now of course, I'm pretty sure I plan on stippling this as well. But we'll we'll see how it turns out. One upgrade that is a must for me on this one right here. All the ports are already a little enlarging and everything. I may try to get a little larger in this. I need to weld this and make it flat. Because reloading, I do get stuck in here. Um, the follower, I may change it out. Not sure yet, but this will be my next upgrade. Must, definitely. Overall shotgun, I must say it was good. I loved it. I love it. You know, when I get a little more shotguns, I may upgrade. Might try a Benelli M1 or Remington. But that's still to be seen and proven. For now, this one I'm going to roll with. And I do have a video coming up on this. It's going to be called the Maverick 88 Project. We're going to check it out a little bit. Do some fun things to it. But enough of the Maverick. It's not as spotlight right now. Of course, you guys probably seen a video of this, so I won't bore you to death of my tank. The tank is a little boring. We're gonna clear this table real quick. Well, not table, it's a case. I'm still starting this YouTube thing here, so bear with me. As I've been thinking, this, I did another video on it as well. I'll probably be will We'll be integrating it into my three gun setup this year. Probably gonna take off this Holosun and throw on my one 
to six at my velocity trigger. Those two items probably going on here. This already has adjustable gas block, so not worried. The VG6 is awesome as well. So this is probably gonna be the integration to my three gun setup. And, if, and I do run hex mags, so I like them. In inspect, in inspective, oh, whatever you know what I mean. Not, not expensive, damn. But yep, that's about it for my three gun setup here.